South Korea is more eager than ever to host the 2030 edition of the World Expo because the mega event is expected to bring huge economy benefits from creating 500,000 new jobs and also helping K startups make their debut on the global market. For more on this, we have our finance correspondent Lee Dae-hyun here in the studio. Welcome back, Lee Dae-hyun. Great to be here, Tommy. Sure. Lehan, first off, tell us how a successful bid to host the World Expo in Busan boosts the economy. Right, South Korea's government is all in in terms of its bid to host the World Expo in Busan City. The economic benefit it's expected to create is huge, worth 61 trillion won or around 46.4 billion US dollars. And 500,000 jobs are expected to be created. Now, this is not the first time that South Korea has hosted an expo. In 1993, there was the Daejeon Expo, which was science-themed. And in 2012, the Yosu Expo, focusing on its theme of oceans. As you've mentioned earlier, Tommy, these two past events differ from a world expo in that they were recognized expositions, also called specialized expos, where the host country has to pay for the construction of all the pavilions used by each participant country. These expos only run for three months. The World Expo that Busan is aiming to host is what's called a registered exposition, whereby each participant country has to cover the cost of the construction of their pavilion. This type of expo runs for six months. So two expos were previously held here in South Korea, but slightly different ones. The last one uh, that took place here in the country was the Yosu Expo in 2012. Now, let's talk about that and the economic impact that had back in the days. Right, at the 2012 Yosu Expo, 104 countries attended that event and around 8.2 million visitors uh, visited Yosu during the expo. Aside from hosting the event itself, building expo sites, exhibitions, and even the construction of highways and bridges needed to be done. And the result was $13.7 billion generated for the economy at the time. Now, if South Korea is successful and we have the Busan Expo in 2030, mm. 50 million visitors are expected with each participant country building its own pavilion using its own money, which is also likely to bring a construction boom to the country. So some event officials say the economic impact of the Busan Expo is just incomparable to anything South Korea has post hosted before. I see. What about support from South Korean companies? Because I hear large corporates are also rolling up their sleeves and throwing their support behind the push to win the bid. You're exactly right, Tommy. As you said, large corporates are kicking into gear in order to win the right to host the Busan World Expo. If you take a look at the Entrepreneurs Committee for the World Expo 2030 Busan, 11 giant corporations, including Samsung Electronics, Hyundai Motor, SK and LG, are making efforts to make sure the bid is a success. Business leaders from these companies traveled across the globe, urging more support for Busan to host the World Expo, while showcasing the latest technologies that South Korea has to offer, like the 6G network, robots and metaverse during the expo-related events. Right, not just large corporates, but also startups are trying to take an advantage of this mega event. And now, how are they pushing the bid? That's correct. Startups are also hopeful to seeing the World Expo in Busan in 2030, as the event may help rebalance regional growth compared to the capital's whole. In fact, local industrial tech institutes and around 300 local companies are showing their support for the bid by pledging to help with the event's technology infrastructure. One startup industry insider says the expo will bring a big opportunity for startups located outside Korea's metropolitan area. Take a listen. This is a chance for startup technologies to be showcased to the global market on our home ground. This could be a point where startups could seek for their expansion. There was a startup program at the Dubai Expo, so we're urging the Busan city government to operate the program this time as well. Right, so all hands are on deck to win the bid. Now, Lehyun, I hear Busan's theme for the 2030 World Expo is all about the environment. Let's talk about that. Exactly. Busan has set its agenda at zero carbon and climate change. It's going to operate exhibitions with zero carbon emissions while using eco-friendly commodities and reusable energy to build infrastructures. As a subtitle to the theme, the message that Busan 2030 would hope to convey is sustainable life with nature, people-friendly technology, and a place of caring and sharing. 
South Korea's Prime Minister Han dok so also highlighted that by 2030, the most pressing global issues will be climate change and inclusive growth. He also said Korea could highlight these problems and help to find a solution through cooperation with global partners. The mayor of Busan, Park kyung jun also pledged to create net-zero expo sites while making floating islands in the city to respond to environmental issues and digital transformation. Right. Fingers crossed for the bid to host the upcoming World Expo in 2030. Thank you so much for your wrap-up today, Dehan. Thank you.